today I'm showcasing my top five meta loadouts in Warzone 3 Season 2 Reloaded. Basically just showing you guys my favorite loadouts heading into the new update and telling you guys exactly what you should be running in the current meta. So of course, stay tuned for that. But real quick, I want to give a massive shout out to the Nodi gang. Without further ado, I'm directly into the loadouts. Starting off the list, we have our honorable mention spot, which I'm going to be tossing in the AMR9 SMG, which if you guys don't know, still has the fastest time to kill out of any SMG in Warzone 3. So for the first attachment on the build, we're going to be tossing on the L4 our flash hider giving you guys that muzzle flash concealment recoil control and gun kick control which this attachment is one of the main reasons why the amr9 doesn't move whatsoever and in my opinion the only problem with the amr9 is the mobility so we're also gonna be tossing on the amr9 commando pro barrel giving you guys that ads speed sprint to fire speed movement speed and sprint speed helping out the amr9 in every possible way just make it to where you're a whole lot faster and speaking of being faster we're also gonna be tossing on the demo d50 buffer tube helping out the build in every possible way giving you guys that sprint to fire speed ads speed aim walking speed and hip fire attack stance spread again make it to where the amr9 is faster in every possible way and to where you're just gliding around the map and just like i always tell you guys the optics are 100 personal preference but for me on the amr9 i feel the best with the nidar model 2023 and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 50 round mag increase that mag capacity but also holding on to a little bit more mobility compared to the 100 round drum mag but overall that's my full build for the amr9 smg in warzone 3 season 2 reloaded i'm telling you guys this thing is still absolutely disgusting and i feel like i've been seeing nobody talking about it so if you guys haven't already go through give the entire bit of try some of the high school game you guys get with it but like i said that is our honorable mention so let's hop into the actual list now like i said hopping into the actual list now so at that number five spot we have the wsp9 smg again a top smg in the current meta and in my opinion one of the best in the entire game so starting off the build with the very first attachment we're gonna be tossing on the sonic suppressor s keeping you guys off that mini map but also giving you guys that bolt velocity and damage range making sure the wsp9 is hitting harder and you guys are getting closer to hit scan and with it being an smg just like the amr9 we want to be as fast as humanly possible so we're going to be tossing on the his short light barrel giving you guys the ads speed sprint to fire speed and sprint speed just making sure you are absolutely flying around the map with this build and something i've actually switched up recently i used to run the wsp factory stock mixing in absolutely perfect with the barrel but you guys can still run this if you want that absurd mobility but recently i swapped it over to the wsp classics factory stock giving you guys that gun kick control and recoil control making sure the wsp9 isn't moving whatsoever and like i was saying with the barrel we want to be as fast as humanly possible so we're also going to be tossing on the dr6 hand stop for our under barrel giving you guys the aim walking speed ads speed sprint to fire speed and movement speed helping out the wsp9 in every possible way just making it to where you're a whole lot faster and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 40 round mag increase that mag capacity just like we did on the mr9 the 40 round mag is also going to be holding on to a little bit more mobility compared to the 50 round mag but overall that's my full build for the w wsp9 smg and warzone 3 season 2 reloaded like i was saying this is another great option for the smg meta and in my opinion it is one of the best in the entire game so if you guys haven't already go through give the entire bit of try some of the high school game you guys get with it but that's our loading number five so let's hop to reckon to loading number four loading number four we finally don't have an smg but we do have the ram 7 assault rifle which if you guys don't know was meta for a super long time it ended up catching a few nerfs but it's still super good in the current meta so hop directly into the build starting off with the muzzle we have the vt 7 spirit fire suppressor keeping you guys off that mini map but it's also giving you guys that recoil control bolt velocity and damage range making it to where the ram 7 isn't moving whatsoever and it's also making it to where you guys are hitting harder and you guys are getting closer to hit scan the mixing in perfect with the muzzle is the cronin headwind long barrel giving you guys even more bolt velocity and damage range aiming out of sway and firing aim stability which like i was saying with the muzzle is making it to where the ram 7 is hitting harder but it's also getting you guys closer to hit scan which if you guys don't know what that means basically you guys don't have to lead your shots whatsoever and where you guys are aiming is exactly where your bullets are going to be landing then like i said we're also getting that aiming out of sway and firing aim stability making it to where the ram 7 is an absolute beam speaking of being a beam we're also going to be tossing on the hvs 3.4 pad for our stock giving you guys that gun kick control and recoil control helping out the ram 7 even more making it to where it's not bouncing all over the place and of course mixing it perfect with the barrel in the stock is the bruin heavy support grip for our under barrel helping out the ram 7 in every possible way giving you guys that gun kick control aiming out of sway horizontal recoil control and firing aim stability like i've said over and over making sure the ram 7 isn't moving at all 
And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 60 round drum mag. Increase that mag capacity, making it sure you don't have to reload after every single kill. But overall, that's my full build for the Ram 7 Assault Rifle in Warzone 3 Season 2 Reloaded. Like I was saying, the Ram 7 was meta for a super long time, but even after the past couple nerfs, it is still super good in the current meta. So if you guys haven't already, go through, give the entire bit a try, tell them the highest kill game you guys get with it. Let's hop directly into loading number three. Next loading on the list, we have the HRM9 with our loading number three, which I don't know what it is with Warzone 3 right now, but I feel like we have an unreal amount of really good SMGs. I'll hop into wreck into the build, starting off with the muzzle. We're going to be tossing on the L for our flash hider, which we also tossed this on the AMR9. So this is giving us the exact same pros and cons. And of course, just like I always tell you guys, with it being an SMG, we want to be as fast as humanly possible. So we're going to be tossing on the DR6 hand stop for our underbarrel, giving you guys the aim walking speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed, helping out the HRM9 in every possible way, just making it to where it's a whole lot faster. Then of course, for the next attachment, we have the 9mm high grain ammunition, giving you guys that bolt velocity and damage range, which if you guys remember, I was running this on almost every SMG that I was using. In my opinion, it's a super slap down attachment. It helps out the build a ton. It's making sure the HRM9 is hitting harder and you guys are getting closer to hit scan. Then of course, with the fire rate on the HRM9 and the high grain ammunition, it is going to be kind of bouncy. So we're going to be tossing on the folding stock, giving you guys that recoil control, gun kick control, and firing aim stability, making sure the HRM9 is super controllable and it's just an absolute beam. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 50 round drum mag, which like I was saying a second ago, it has a super fast fire rate. So this is absolutely essential for the build. But overall, that's my full build for the HRM9 SMG in Warzone 3 Season 2 Reloaded. I'm telling you guys, the game has a ton of good SMGs right now, and this is one of the best that you could be using in the current meta. So make sure you guys go through, give the entire bit a try, and tell them the highest cool game you guys get with it. But like I said, that is loading number three on the list. So stop directing to loading number two. Loading number two, we have our fourth SMG on the list. We have the Ram 9, which if you guys don't know, is right behind the AMR 9 when it comes to TTK. It's super good, and it also has an unbelievable amount of mobility. In the update, they did nerf some things, but I think it was only attachments that they touched. They didn't actually mess with the gun itself. So hop directly into the build, starting off with the muzzle. We got the L for our flash header for our third build on the list, giving us that muzzle flash concealment, recoil control, and gun kick control. And just like I always say with the SMGs, we want to be as fast as humanly possible. So of course, we're going to be tossing on the DR6 hand stop again for our underbarrel, giving you guys that aim walking speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed. Like always, helping out the Ram 9 in every possible way, just making sure you're a whole lot faster. And speaking of being faster, we're also going to be tossing on the ultra light stock pad, giving you guys even more aim walking speed, movement speed, and sprint speed, which this stock is going to make it feel like you guys are absolutely flying on the map, especially with the amount of strafe speed it gives you. And just like the HRM9, the fire rate on the Ram 9 is absolutely ridiculous. So to stop it from bouncing all over the place, we're going to be tossing on the Retort 90 grip tape for our rear grip, giving you guys that firing aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control, making it to where the Ram 9 is an absolute beam. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 50 round mag. Increase that mag capacity, which with the fire rate on the Ram 9, it still feels like you guys are absolutely flying through the 50 mag. But overall, that's my full build for the Ram 9 SMG in Warzone 3 Season 2 Reloaded. Like I was saying, in the patch notes, they did nerf a few attachments, but I'm pretty sure it was only the barrels, and I don't even run one to begin with. So make sure you guys go through, give the entire bit a try, and tell them the highest cool game you guys get with it. But that's our loading number two. So let's hop into the last loading on the list. Loading number one. And of course, in that number one spot, we have the MTZ 762 Battle Rifle, which you guys know, this has been super good for a very long time. And in today's update, it caught a massive nerf. But you guys know how they are with nerfing weapons. It's still going to be super good. So hopping directly into the build, starting off with the muzzle, we're going to be tossing on the Cassis Break L, giving us that horizontal recoil control and firing aim stability, making sure the MTZ 762 is unbelievably controllable. Then we'll be tossing on the MTZ Precision Blackthorn Barrel, giving you guys that bull velocity and damage range, aiming out a sway and firing aim stability, making sure the MTZ is hitting harder, but you guys are also going to be getting closer to hit scan. And like I was saying, we're also getting that aiming out of sway and firing aim stability, making it to where the MTZ 762 is an absolute beam. And speaking of being a beam, we're also going to be tossing on the EXF Close Quarters Assault Stock, giving you guys even more recoil control and gun kick control, making it to where the MTZ 762 isn't bouncing all over the place. And just like I always tell you guys, the optics are 100% personal preference. You guys can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with. But for me, 
on the MTZ762. I've been absolutely loving the brand new glassless optic. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 30 round mag. Increase that mag capacity. But if you guys do remember, there was a glitch to get the 40 round mag. So if you guys have any save variants with that, you guys can still run that instead of the 30. But overall, that's my full build for the MTZ762 battle rifle in Warzone 3 Season 2 Reloaded. Like I was saying, it did catch a nerf in today's update, but you guys know it's still going to be super good in the current meta. So of course, go through, give the entire bit of try some of the highest school game you guys get with it. But like I said, that's our last loadie on the list. Also, real quick, since you guys are always asking me what I'm running in my gameplays, in my gameplays, we're always running a stim with a throwing knife. And for the perk package, we got double time, mountaineer, tempered, and the flex perk. So make sure you guys go through, test out every single loadout that I just gave you guys, and also toss it in with the perk package. And let me know down in the comments below if it helps you guys out at all. And if it does, make sure you guys hit that big red subscribe button. That's it for the video.